Hi there, this is Re Rob at Reason101.net and I am here to do part 5 of my Kong drum creation. Um, this time what we do is we have the pattern selected, that switch on the rotary. Now we're going to try to um, finish up on some of this programming. So on the first button we're going to call this synths off. It's going to turn the synths off. On this we're going to turn it, call it drums off. On the third one, we're going to do it basic drums, which will cancel out half of our drums and keep the other half. So what we're going to do, um, and what I did was a little mistake here. I have the Kong drums going output to this channel 1 and one of the synths going to this channel 1 on, on what should be the Kong channel. So what we're going to have to do is um, change that a little bit. Uh, I'm going to have to move this down here this down here and then have Kong rooted out here so now you have Kong on the first mixer and all your synths on the second mixer sorry about that in an earlier video I screwed it up um, so now that you have it set up Kong you're gonna take that on channel or on button 2 where you want to turn the drums off you're gonna do the master level this is gonna be a hundred one hundred this is gonna be zero for the synths, you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to do it on button 1. You're going to do the master level, 100, 100, and this is going to be 0. And then for the drums, which is your Kong device here, what we're going to do is we're going to keep the bass drum, we're going to keep one of the toms, but we're going to delete these other two toms, so tom 2 and 4. So what you're going to do, um, you're going to change these to be button 3 uh, you might not need all of these but you know you can change them anyway okay button 3 um, you're gonna take drum 2 level you're gonna take drum 4 level and then we want we don't want the reverse kick we will take that snare, so we don't need these other two drums. So let's take out five, six, and eight. So we'll remove those by taking drum five level, drum six level, and drum eight level. Okay, and any other ones? We're going to keep these two hi-hats, delete these two. So 11 and 12. So let's take 11 and drum 12 and all of these you're gonna have to program them to be 100 and 0 and what this is gonna do is it's gonna give you um, just a few drums to play with but it's not gonna play all of them because if you play all of them, sometimes it can be a little bit of an overkill. This way, you've got some choices in your patch. And if you change them on the fly, it kind of sounds neat, because you can go from a full drum kit to a partial drum kit. Okay, so now if we play it, you hear everything going once. You can turn the synths off turn the drums off and just keep those four synths or you can go to the drum basics which will only give you a subset of these drums okay so that's what we're gonna do there um, now let us we're gonna do a few other things from the spider audio what we're gonna do is we're gonna create um, let's create a reverb Let's bring it down a little. Let's also create a stereo equalizer. Let's create, or an M-class equalizer, I should say. And then let's create a maximizer. So we've got these three units here. Let's tab it around to the front. Um, these are going to go from your, actually, let's remove all of these wires so we know what we're doing. This is going to be output to this. That's correct. Okay, so essentially here's here's the way it's going to work. I'll just go through everything. 
um, the splitter is going to go down into your reverb, then it's going to go into your equalizer, then it's going to go into your maximizer, and then the output from the maximizer, you guessed it, is going to go into your main combinator outputs. Okay, so now what you can do is on this rotary, we'll let this be the reverb. On this one, we'll have this be the gain. And on this one, we're going to have a tone control. And this button here is going to enable the tone. Okay, so to set those up, uh, what you're going to need to do is go into the reverb, and the reverb is on rotary 2. You're going to take the master dry wet. Um, let's have the minimum zero and the maximum let's do somewhere around 65 or so. On the EQ, this is where it gets a little um, complex, but to have, um, or sorry, to have this tone control, first thing you're going to have to do is enable the aspects of the equalizer down here. So to do that, you're going to need to take um, button four. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to do. Um, Yep, you're on the EQ. Okay, you're going to do the low... Uh, what are we going to do? Low shelf enable, and let's do the high shelf enable. And then on rotary 4, you're going to do the low... Uh, low shelf gain is going to be minus 47 and positive 47. I've already worked these numbers out, so I'm kind of familiar with what I'm doing here. Uh, the high shelf gain is going to be minus 47, or thereabouts. And this is going to be plus 27. Okay, and you're going to enable another one uh, for a button 4. You're going to enable your parameter parametric one. And then on par per parametric one, you're going to bring this down a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. And then you're going to bring this gain down just a little bit. Okay, so now when you enable the tone, it's going to turn all these on. And then your tone control, you can see what it's doing to the EQ. Okay, keep it in the middle, it's fairly even raise it or lower it. Okay, the gain, and I'll show you how, how this sounds in a second. The gain, the last thing you're going to do on the maximizer is you're going to do uh, rotary 3. You're going to um, enable the input and rotary 3. You're going to enable the input or the output. And this is going to be 64. This is going to be 100. Ugh, come on. This is going to be 100. This, the output gain, is going to be 45 or thereabouts. And this is going to be somewhere close to 35. Okay. Now, when you're playing it, you got your reverb. That's how it's done, folks, and I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I hope it helps you uh, work out your own patches. Again, once you're done with this, save it, and you can reload it and put in a whole new set of drums if you want. You can have lots of fun with it. So I hope this has been inspiring. I hope it's helped you learn how to fish and how to create your own, um, how to bake your own cake and how to make your own patches using Kong and uh, a little bit of routing. Enjoy, and uh, that's it for me. Again, come visit me at uh, reason101.net. I'm Rob, and I appreciate you watching. Thanks.